Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put some blue dye in the fluid that's in here. Okay, that will turn it blue. Very good. Oh, oh gosh, I'm filming the wrong way. That's such an AS. Yes, mistake. Oh, yeah, look oh. at that. <laughs> screen ratio, people. Screen oh, ratio. You. What are you doing? Yeah, we're doing now. Right, okay. Let's GCSE. put that over there. I freaking love this. What is that? Huh? Powder paint. Powder paint. Powder paint, yeah. Right, okay. So we're going to mix up the blue dye so we get a bit of blue going on in there. And now oh, we've got love it. It's so conceptual. Thank Smoke you. shots, too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Essentially, this is your music video, isn't it? This could be it. Come on, let Okay. Right, so we've now got that blue. Fabulous. Okay. The container is holding everything in there that is blue. Okay? That container is holding everything in there that is pink. Alright? The pink cannot get out into the blue. Why? Because it's, it's in trapped. Because it's in a bottle, it's trapped, yeah? So therefore, the bottle provides a structure. Yeah. Okay? What was another way that we were saying a structure? What is another structure that we've encountered on the course to do with these theories? Beginning, middle, end. Okay, good, good. Beginning, middle, end, yeah? The beginning, middle, end of the film is a way of containing the story. It's a structure. It, it, it gives it order. It gives it structure. It gives it sequence, okay? But a beginning, middle, end is a theory. What does a theory look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? What does it feel like? Pink. Oh, like oh, is that a question? Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was that thing. Is it possible to answer that close question? No. no. You no. can't smell a theory. Why not then? Because it's, a theory it's is... Words. It's, 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 what what it it's an idea. It's conceptual. Okay? So this is a physical structure, like a building. Those that we've been discussing, these theories, are In conceptual structures, ideas. Yeah. Notice the language I'm using here. Why am I using words like conceptual structures? Good. I want them in your essays. So, this is a metaphor, okay? This means that I'm showing you what we're doing in our heads by putting it physically. Four ready. So. Come on, fast shots, Dave. Okay. <laughs> How do you know... Who's going to tip it? How do you know, essentially... Quite <coughs> good. How do you know whether you like the colour pink or whether you prefer the colour blue? It's nothing to do with your gender. Together. No, how do you know if you like that one or if you like that it's one? It's your opinion. It's your opinion. Okay, so you need to have seen pink before to say, oh, I quite like that colour, I recognise it, I've seen it before. Yeah. Or you need to see the blue and go, oh, I quite like blue, I've seen blue before. Okay, brilliant. So what happens if you don't like pink? Then I have blue. You're going to have blue, aren't you? What happens if you don't like blue? I think you're going to have, you're gonna have pink. pink and you're going to go, I know everything I'm going to grab in that is pink. There's no blue in that, I hate blue. So you go for that. Okay, so this is going to go on a little bit. Right. That's a standing knife, yeah? Oh, oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I'm not going to cut myself or anything. I'm just quite right, so, over the years, we've been quite happy with structures holding together our pink and our blue, or our ideas, yeah? We're quite happy with that. What era would we call that, where all the structures are nice and secure and sound, and we just follow those structures? Modernism. 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 Why? Because you're following the structures, that's all you're you're following doing. the structures. We don't question them, we just accept them, and we're quite cool with that. Some of the structures that we follow, besides media, are things like education. Determination. We believe in it because it will get you a better job in social mobility. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Your grandparents believe that. Yeah? Other things would be, is that your country is the most important thing outside of your family and your community. Your grandparents would have believed that because what would they have done? The war. Oh, yeah. war. So your great grandparents, possibly your grandparents, would have actually given their lives for this concept. Would you do that? No. no so won't. something's happened. So this structure of being willing to follow that idea of your nation. Okay. So something has happened to that structure of believing in education as being a certain structure that gets you forward in life. Because there's a lot of kids who don't want to believe in education. You can go and see the art class next door. They're full of it. Okay. <laughs> So what's happened to this structure that has held society and ideas? Down. It's starting oh, yes. to break yes. down a little bit. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh my God. It's oh. starting to kind of tear down in some ways. Okay. Oh, so little so by little, so as so you've so had so things so like so the sexual revolution, where, for example, the roles oh. of women in society oh. Oh. Yeah, are not yes. traditional anymore, and women can now do things like, hey, go to work. 
Women can now do <laughs> things like yeah. they, can, they don't have to get married, okay? Whilst we've had some of these socially progressive movements, these ideas have started to now do what? Take purple. Before we get to that, they've started to... <laughs> blend. Yeah, they've started to leak out. The structure is starting... Thank you. The structure is starting to fall apart, okay? The structure has started to fall apart. So if that structure's fallen apart, these idea structures have started to fall apart. Yeah? So what that means is you have people now not believing that the government has their best interests at heart. We have people not believing that a family of mum, dad and two kids is the only way of doing things anymore. We have a structure which normalises heterosexuality as not being the only structure anymore. And what you notice in our culture, which is films and TV and shit that you're studying, is this is starting to manifest itself in the stuff that you're watching and viewing, okay? Used to be the days that you wanted to watch a TV programme. Did you have any way of affecting the outcome of the TV narrative? No. Did you have any way of actually making stuff yourself and putting it on TV? What do we have nowadays? YouTube. YouTube. So actually, you're now watching stuff as an audience that the audience have made themselves. We call them pro producers. Producers. That's it. So that's a postmodern phenomenon. Right, so, yeah. what have we got going on now? There's stuff in here where it's starting to mix together. I've got bits of pink in here, and I don't like pink, I like blue. I like my blue, but I've got pink in here. So what is this that I'm trying to show you? Which concept have we discussed this afternoon? It is, but which specific one is it? Is this narrative, genre, or representation? Think it through. This is genre, narrative, representation. Oh, oh actually, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Could be, could be, could be. Remember, everything that's contained in this is pink. Everything that's contained in this is blue. They're all starting to mix together now. Oh, so it's genre because you can get subgenres. Yeah, you can so mix them together. Uh, no, you've got to get away from that word subgenre. Oh, um, hy hy hybrid. Genres. That's it. So let's just elaborate upon that. <laughs> so deep. Thank you. Right. Let's just elaborate on that. Well, well done because it is deep and you've kept up with it. One way we've got to understand it, though, is why do we have them? Is it because it's just easier to mix films together and it sells to a bigger audience, or is it something else? Is it, it, it's set, it sells to a certain audience. Yeah, so if you like horror films, you'll sell to that audience, so why do you mix genres? Because so the other people can make it. Now, that's, we established that last year, and that is true. But now there's a conceptual reason for it. Why? Because you're Because we are breaking down... We are breaking down <laughs> the rules of genre. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we are breaking down the Starting rules off. of genre. Okay, so it's happening more and more and all because ideologically, theoretically, these ideas aren't there anymore. Now, my final point on this will be: if this is hybridity, okay, if it's happening because the structures are breaking down. Why did that not happen, necessarily, in your thrillers? Because it was our first time doing it, so we just kept to one thing. Very good. Now, that's, what, what is Em saying there? What's she giving to our understanding? She's giving it what? More understanding. Mm. Reason. Good. A purpose, a reason, okay? A context. Where should that bit go that she's just said? Beginning. End. end. Conclusion. Very good. Where well, you kind of justify <laughs> and sum it up. Yeah, the end. I'm just literally giving you one sentence for your conclusion for your genre essay. What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So we said, why are most of these projects modernist? You've got it. <laughs> and because that was your brief was to make a recognisable thriller film, yeah? And it was your first time making something. So this is something we're going to be looking at quite a lot. <laughs> okay? So, we've talked about your thriller. Yeah. We've talked about where you've come from. We've talked about the fact that in most cases they tend to be modernist. modernist. Don't knock the door. So where do we go now for the rest of the lesson? 